Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 25 of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Alright, in between episodes, I went back to the monster shop and bought a mummy bird. Which thankfully was not very expensive at all, like maybe 300 beetles. But then I had to go all the way back to the Lost Temple of Heliopolis to pick up this monster, the Almost a Bull. I think I've had this before and it was on a monster list, but I only had one. So I had to go all the way back to that temple where there was like an altar full of smoke to pick up another one. Which sucks, but what can you do? Sadly, the one at Great Wall Entrance 1 does not respawn, so you can't use that one anymore. Hopefully I won't need every single monster, otherwise I'll have to buy the uh, Shuttlecock Bird, and that's going to be the most expensive thing to get. Almost a bull! Use his horns to violent effect! Okay. How about this mummy bird? A mummy bird! Bandages cover most of its feathers! Oh my god, I do have to buy the shuttlecock bird for real? Oh, I do have 900 scarabs, do I? Yes, I do. But oh my god, that's the most expensive thing out there! Yeah, I almost got everything filled up, see? Like, this side's completely filled. So that's all the monsters in that display. The center one is completely sorted. Let's go to the one on the left. See? Every monster so far is collected. Yep, all these displays are done. So there's only, like, one room left. And it's this one over here. Oh my god, if I have to go all the way back just to buy the shuttlecock bird... It's gonna bankrupt me! It costs 900 scarabs, see? That's the only display left. Yeah, even the spirit is collected. Yes, yeah, so you do have to give every single monster. I don't know if this was true, but I think in the older versions, if you had at least 34 or 35 monsters given, you'd be fine. But it turns out in the release version, at least in this one from what I'm seeing, you will need every single monster. Even the most expensive ones. That means if I want to do the other things, like upgrade my uh, HP one last time, or get the Dart Pouch upgrade, or get the Capture Beetle upgrade, I'm going to need a lot more money. Those are the last things I need to buy, and I don't know if those things are tied to achievements. I know the HP is, but I'm not sure about the, uh, the Dart upgrade or the Capture Beetle upgrade, because according to Steam, there are two hidden achievements. Now, I don't know, again, I don't, I'm not going to bother to get every single one, because I actually can't. There's one actually tied to having to be able to get every single Onyx Scarab, and I'm pretty sure I've missed some. Hold on, do I have any monsters to sell? No. Those I do not want to sell. So I want to save them for the last part. Yeah, I might have to split the video. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. There's still some spots of farmland I need to take care of, because they're not all done. One of the uh, patches does give you 600 scarabs, by the way. And I think it's the one closest to the other side of the bridge. So if you dig that one up, that'll really help you out. Alright, well, had to spend all 900 scarabs that I could carry to buy a damn shuttlecock bird. Well, since I already made it this far in the game, I might as well get the achievement now. If in the event I ever want to play this again on my own time. Here you go. A shuttlecock bird! One-legged with aerodynamic plumage! Our museum at last is full! 
and thanks in no small part to your efforts, you have made the city of Abydos proud. Alas, I can offer you no reward for your hard work, but please accept this Master Hunter certificate. Maybe a constant reminder of how grateful we are. Yep, it was all for a certificate for Master Hunter. No monetary reward. Nothing else, like no upgrades for your character or anything. Just a piece of paper and an achievement on Steam to let you know, hey, you got this. I don't know how many percentage of people that play this game on Steam did get the achievement. But imagine going through all that work and all that money to get that. To me, that feels like a ripoff. The bragging rights are not worth it. I'll, let's be honest. There's no bragging rights attached to this. None. Zero. Because I spent an ass ton of money and an ass ton of time and an ass ton of capture beetles just to do this. And lo and behold, it's worthless. It's just a piece of paper. No, but no NPCs will be like, holy crap, you got every monster in the museum. Congratulations. Let me throw myself at you. Blah, 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 blah. No. And you know what it did? It set me back from being able to do the other things I wanted to do later. Alright, well, let me go check out the farm. I did dig up another plot in between. So I don't know if they're done yet. I'll probably have to cut away to like most of them are done except the last one. But that's gonna be a pain in the ass. To get all that money back. I hope to god I dug up a plot with a lot of scarabs to make up for it. Cause now I need at least 200 for the last HP upgrade. And I would like to have the maximum amount of health possible before I reach the last part. Okay, I know there's some beetles down here. Or scarabs, I mean to say. Yeah, that one usually just gets you 20 each time. So there you go. My lord. <laughs> you burn through money so fast. And it's not easy to get money in this game. Like, there's very few places you can get it, like just in jars, yes. But how often do you run into jars? They're not everywhere. You have to really look for them. They're just so out of the way. I mean, this exists too. But still, you have to wait for it to rematerialize. And it may not always give you gold scarabs. So, early game, you may not need money as much. But when you do need money, oh my god, it's going to be hard to come by. Oh my god, they just finished the plots and I got to wait for them to get all the way back in the house. And I can't get too close to them because if I do, they're going to stop and want to talk to me. I don't want them to stop until they get in the house. Okay, this is my, I think this is my slowest walking speed right here. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. No, this is my slowest walking speed. Oh my god, I can actually walk this slow? Oh my god, that's actually pretty adorable. But I gotta be very delicate. Okay, then it just stops. God, if only they can just walk a little bit faster. I'm just saying, there's like a lot of land you need to take care of. Now's not the time to slouch. Okay, wait for him to get in position. There we go. What did you find for me? 200 scarabs! Okay, that's enough for the health. That covers me right there. Good stuff. Oops. Might as well get every last bit. Harvest Moon. Now that the farm is prepared, we can relax and wait for the rains to come. Thanks for your help. Oh! Wait, that's the last plot? What? Really? Well, there's, there's plots right here. 
And there's one right here. Uh, okay. Oh, look, there's one right here. So there's no more I can dig up. That's the achievement. Or is it that you're only allowed to dig up a certain quantity? But no, but I'm, when I was digging one up, or getting ready to dig the last one up, I walked over a plot, and it didn't give me the option to choose it. So I guess there are some plots that will just never be dug up. And therefore you can't get rewards for them. Okay, well we might as well go to Bedouin Outpost now. At least we got that out of the way. I guess it wouldn't hurt to buy the uh, Capture Beetle upgrade as well as the, uh, the Dart upgrade. Yeah, I think I might as well get that. Even if it's going to take a lot of time for me to grind for that much money, it might be tied to achievement, and I might end up needing a lot of them anyway. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Shit, that's right here. Ah, peace ritual, please. There we go. This will get us the last health upgrade. Golden! Done! Your gold on pieces have been performed. Yes. Now I have the highest amount of health I can have. Right, sadly, I'm going to need 450 more scarabs. Well, I need 450 scarabs in total. I have 37 now to buy this. And then I gotta need, what, 600 or 700 beetles for the dart upgrade? Oh, that's gonna be ridiculous. Anyway, I'm just gonna cut ahead and, uh, we'll meet you back when I have more money. Oh my god, wait, I just realized. If I buy one thing, I gotta grind for more money no matter what. Oh, so this video might be split into three parts. Ugh. Time out, everyone. Alright, like several minutes later, I have decided that instead of getting the upgrades, I'm just going to go without them. I did do a little bit of research onto the achievements on Steam, including that the two locked ones. It turns out it has nothing to do with the upgrades at all, so I'm like, you know what? Am I going to be using Captured Beetles that much? No. Am I going to be using the darts that much? Also, no. So why would I waste tons and tons of minutes trying to grind for beetles when I could just get to the last part of the game now? I got what I need, which is the health. So I should be okay. So that's most of the times I'm fighting enemies, I'm using my sword. So I'm better off just doing the thing now. So this is it guys, the last stretch. I was not wasting any time to get those upgrades, let me tell you that much. You have brought the sacred crown of Heliopolis. I knew that you would succeed. Hmm. And you have also brought the very same Set's crown. Congratulations, Sphinx. This is a magnificent achievement to finally give Osiris enough power to manifest once again. Behold his mighty power and splendor! Oh hi, you must be Osiris. I am the Light of Ra, defender of the ancient good and innocent, enemy of shadow, and the founder of the ancient prophecy of Ra. A prophecy which is rapidly drawing to an end. I built this wall eons ago to prevent my own destruction at the hands of my brother Set. All this time, my guardian Anubis has protected the wall from Set's onslaught. Cursing the palace is necessary to protect Heliopolis, but now the inhabitants are free and the demon destroyed. You are the chosen one who has fulfilled the ancient prophecy, but the ultimate outcome of your heroic actions is uncertain. Sphinx. There is one last quest you must undertake before you truly fulfill the ancient prophecy of Ra. You must travel to the castle of Uruk and fight Set in a final battle for the crown. 
Anubis must stay and defend the wall. You are our only chance. I will transport you to Uruk, but you must jump into the lava. Sir, using Set's own ethereal canals to transport him to the castle? This is folly. That is much too dangerous. We have no choice. Set is getting stronger by the second. Now, Sphinx, now! And that is why Imhotep warned you to uh, take care of loose ends before you come here. Because as you can see, there's no way back. Alright, we have made it back to Uruk. Looks like our goal is right here. Oh, but there's still a um, nasty ray. It looks like we gotta get to the other side of that. But we have to dodge the lasers. Too bad you can't just select a different save file. I thought that would have made more sense. From the looks of things, I'm gonna have to hide behind rocks. Does it fire the laser now? Or do I have to get closer? Ah! Okay, it fired at the worst time! So I guess it does fire pretty early. Just gotta wait for it. What the hell? Hmm. I guess it only waits till I get over here. Oh, wait a minute, I know what I need. I need the shield. So I need to re-equip that now. I'll put that in place of the capture beetles. Let's see if this works. Nope, it breaks the shield. Okay, it stopped. Oh, I thought I would make it there. Oh, I thought I could grab the ledge. I would have used that to block myself from the laser. Damn it, it hit me again! So I guess I have to jump? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to jump. Because I'm not fast enough to reach that rock. Okay, I made it. Oh, it hit me anyway. Oh my god, I'm back here? I don't see anywhere that's safe. There's nowhere safe. Wait. Oh! There's cracks. Oh, that's bullshit. How was I supposed to know that was lava? Oh. The thing is, I pretty much had to wait for the laser. And it's not always the same fixed interval. Like, I know this hole's safe. Drop. The worst thing is, when it cancels its fire, it goes again. Oh my god, the first ray! So I have to wait for the laser to fire, then hide. But the thing is, if it shoots me immediately, how am I safe? God 
That's bullshit! That's fine and dandy and all, but as soon as I get out of cover, it's ready to fire again. How do I use this rock as cover? I'm surprised that's enough time. Because watch, it stops firing. But then as soon as I get out of here, it hits me immediately. And the thing is, the only way I can move forward is if the laser is already fired because then it needs to recharge. But if it's not reach, not fired, it's used right away. Look, I'll probably have a lot more time to get over there now. Okay, no I don't. Wait a minute. I see cracks. Oh! That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to use this as cover. I'm only seeing the cracks now. That should give me enough time. Oh my god, it actually did give me enough time. Damn. Oh my god. Why did that take me so long to figure out? Use the magical teleports? Yeah. Took a lot of hits there, but at least we got through it. Wait, is this the final boss already? I have been waiting for you, Sphinx. The one of prophecy. I see that my brother Osiris is not here to face me. He is too weak for such a confrontation. Or perhaps he is just too cowardly to stand against me. Ha ha ha! You have done well to thwart my plans so far. But ultimately, I will control the power of the Eye of Ra. You and your undead cohorts have fulfilled the prophecy thus far. I mean, he certainly likes being electrified. But I will see to it that the prophecy ends with your death and Osiris being destroyed by me! He just wanted a hot bath. <laughs> Oh, God, he changed his form. But that in future, Osiris didn't tell you about my true form. <laughs> no, the time has come for you to die. We'll see about that. All right, final boss. Let's do this. It's finally time we take the fight to set. Oh, God, we got to go the wrong way. So you got to stay between the flames. If you get hit by the sides, of course, you'll take damage. As long as you keep going that same direction, you should be okay. Okay, we can't get across the barriers, unfortunately. Oh, I see what this is. Ow! It actually went by faster than I thought. What the hell? Ah! I think I might have to double jump over some. Yeah, you had to hit that jewel on the forehead. So I don't know the uh, purpose of these uh, those blades. I'm guessing they're just traps. All right, now he's just submersed in the lava again. Watch out for the fireballs. I don't know if you can hit these things directly, but it looks like we're seeing some bombs. He likes to turn around so that his back is to you. Therefore, you have the longest amount of time to get to him. And then after a while, he'll actually change the pattern of the lasers. They look like something out of Meat Saber, by the way. I never played it, by the way. Just to let you know. But that's two hits on him. It's pretty much this fight that you just gotta worry about. He's gonna change his pattern bit by bit. You have to dodge these uh, helicopter uh, 
obstacles. Of course, watch out for the fireballs. Wait for those barriers to go down, and then you can start moving again. Good thing we did that obstacle course in Abydos. It prepares you for this. Oh, what? Oh, that still hit me. That's BS. Oh, right, that's lava, so I gotta be careful not to step on that. Oh, he's showing some love. It's all shaped like a heart. Oh, God, now he's doing the fire stream again. If memory serves, I don't think he ever changes his direction midstream. He just keeps going in one direction. What the? Oh. That actually blended in. I didn't even see that. Oh god. Now I gotta use these. So, ah! Son of a biscuit. I didn't think I was still in that range. But I guess I was. Okay, I'm still fine. I've taken a few hits in this fight. Not too much. We're not in the danger zone yet. Wow, he's going back to the fire stream already? Okay, now he's going counterclockwise. Just gotta pace myself and I don't get hit by, by the fire, but also not hit by the blades. Right, what else do you got, Set? My blade is set on you. And... Ooh, he's still got some fight in him. He's not done. I wonder if he's going to change up his strategy. Because he just went back to the first cycle. I was worried that he did that. Like, it started going, like, easy... Kind of easy, medium, hard, and then back to easy again. Why? I guess he didn't have an extra pattern. Actually, you know what? There was a harder pattern after that. The one where you had to use the platforms. Yeah, that actually took a while. Maybe these are going faster? I don't know. Maybe that's the only change. Is that it? Did we beat him? Final blow! Alright, I guess that uh, calls it. We beat him. Sit your ass down. I'll be taking him back, thank you. Nice bandages, bruh. Excellent, Sphinx. You saved the mummy from Set's hands. Set has been severely weakened, but it is not his destiny to be destroyed. The world cannot exist without evil, just as the light of day needs to be balanced with the darkness of night. That sounds like a Bob Ross quote. With Set weakened, he will not be able to fight his true destiny, to unite with his brother Osiris. This will restore balance to the godly kingdom. Behold, the mighty Osiris has arrived. Finally, the ancient prophecy of Ra has been fulfilled. Light and darkness are one together. We will be able to live in harmony again. Sphinx and Tutankhamun, you have both been very brave to conclude this dangerous saga. Sphinx, because of your actions of bravery, your name will go down in history and be remembered forever. Oh, and you'll get a re-release on the Switch and PS PC, by the way. Tutankhamun, I can give you the last canopic vase that will transform you back to your human shape and let you return to your kingdom. Thanks to both of you, balance will be brought to the worlds for many generations to come. More dangerous adventures will come in the future for both of you, but for the moment, rest and enjoy your triumph. 
Tutankhamen. I give you the last canopic vase of my gratitude. Oh, so you're holding that over our heads? Wow, that, that's a bit of a jerk move there, Osiris. Oh, just imagine if he knocked it into the lava. Don't worry, Tutankhamen. There must be another way to change you back. Perhaps other worlds will hold the key to your salvation. We will help you find the answer. That pretty much teased a sequel, but I don't think we ever got one. But anyway, that's it. That's Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy for the PC. The uh, remastered version, by the way. So what did you guys think about this game overall? I thought it was really good. I'm really glad that this was requested to me multiple times, because now I'm seeing how good this game is. I mean, sure, it's not perfect as a collectathon when it comes to, like, getting money. It's very, very slow. And combat can be a little bit finicky due to the fact that, you know, you're very limited to what you can do, and there's, like, no lock-on. Lock-on would have made this a little bit better, but that's just being, you know, nitpicky. Another criticism, I would say, is that the puzzle segments from Mummy, or too common, can be a bit too long. And there's a little bit of tedium involved, which makes it a little bit more annoying, compounded by the fact that there were a few checkpoints in them. But again, minor nitpicks that we were able to overcome, just by making the videos a little bit stretched out. Which I'm sure is for some people, not everybody, it's quite a meme. So what's my next Let's Play after this? I haven't decided yet, but you might see it in the description. Because, of course, it has been a while. Well, come to think of it, the last episode that's been put up on YouTube was episode 17? And this is episode 25. So I'm well ahead in the backlog, and I'm surprised I was able to finish it in this part. I thought there was going to be, like, a little bit of a longer segment after dodging the laser. Like, going through more of the castle, but... Surprisingly, once you get past that, you're straight to the final boss. And the final boss, in my opinion, a little bit of a disappointment. I'm surprised it was just as simple as, like, dodge obstacles, hit it once, dodge more obstacles, hit it again, dodge even more obstacles, hit it again, and surprisingly, it gets easier in the second half, because it resets the, uh, the pattern. I'm surprised they didn't go with, like, a much harder pattern. Because the bosses, when you fight them, do get harder on that last hit. But here, it didn't get harder at all. You know, that's just a minor opinion of mine. But anyway, this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.